In this example, I need to graph the following rational function by finding any asymptotes, holes, and intercepts. My function is f of x equals x squared minus x minus 6, all divided by the quantity x plus 2. Now be careful, when you look at this function, it's easy to think I'm going to have a vertical asymptote when the denominator equals 0. But that only applies if your function is in simplest form. The first thing we have to do is see if we can simplify our function. I have a trinomial in the numerator, and I think it will factor. It's a simple one. The leading coefficient of the x squared is a 1. So that means I'm just going to have an x and an x. Two numbers multiply to a negative, they have to have opposite signs, so one has to have a plus, one has to have a minus. And I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. Those two numbers are negative 3 and positive 2. You can double check by falling out the numerator and you will get x squared minus x minus 6. And my denominator is the binomial x plus 2. Now, does anything reduce in this expression? Yes, this x plus 2 is a factor of the numerator, reduces with the x plus 2 in the denominator. And I get left with 1 times x minus 3, which is x minus 3, divided by 1. x minus 3 divided by 1 is just x minus 3. Now be careful, this function and this function are not totally equal. They agree at every point except the whole caused by reducing out this common factor. And where does the whole occur? Well, the whole occurs at the zero of this common factor. So you set x plus 2 equal to zero. Subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So our original function and the simplified version of the function agree at every x except when x equals negative 2. Now to find the y-coordinate of the whole, we plug negative 2 into the simplified version of the function. If I plugged it back into the original version, I'd get 0 divided by 0. So plugging negative 2 into the simplified version, I get y equals x, which is negative 2 minus 3, which equals negative 5. So the coordinates of the whole are x equals negative 2, y equals negative 5. Now all I have to do is graph the function f of x equals x minus 3 with a whole at x equals negative 2. So this is going to give me the graph of a straight line. Let's compare it to y equals mx plus b. The y-intercept is at 0, b, and in this case, b is negative 3. And the slope m is the coefficient of the x term, so it's a 1. I need a fraction, so divide it by 1, and I'm going to graph this line by plotting the y-intercept and then using the slope in terms of rise over run. My grid's a little small, so I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. Now that grid is a little bit easier to see, so plotting the y-intercept of 0, negative 3, start at the origin, x is 0, and y is negative 3, so just go down 3 units. My slope is 1 over 1, that's rise over run, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, I could continue getting lots of points. But be careful, I have a hole at negative 2, negative 5. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 5, I'm going to have a hole there. So now, graphing my line.
There's the graph of my line. Put arrows on both ends. So that is the graph of this rational function here, which turns out to be a straight line with a hole when x equals negative 2.